breaking story, and we've been all over this since it happened. The manhunt for this man is over. Radi Labib Prince. Police say he shot six people he knew at two different locations, one in Maryland, the other in Delaware. Three of the people shot have died. Now, the News at 11 team has been following this story closely all evening long. Marcella Robertson is here with the very latest. Marcella? Well, Leslie, police found Prince at about 7 o'clock tonight and took him into custody. Five of those people he shot today were his co-workers. And other than this being a workplace shooting, we don't know exactly what his motive was, but we do know this is not the first time he's been violent at work. This multi-state manhunt started inside Advanced Granite Solutions, where Radi Prince is an employee. He was scheduled to come into work today. Instead, he's now accused of shooting five co-workers, killing three of them. I could tell something was wrong, and I guess they needed help. They said, call 911. They had their phones up, but I don't think they, they were in such a panic they couldn't. So I called 911. They said people were shot in that building. Prince fled to Delaware, where he's accused of shooting a sixth person. Police say both shootings were no random act. The thing that we did know is that he knew every one of the people that he shot and he had some type of relationship and they knew him. A violent day preceded by a long criminal history. Prince was no stranger to police in Delaware. There alone, he's been arrested 42 times, has 15 felony convictions. According to court records, earlier this year in Maryland, he was fired from a different granite company after punching a co-worker. The company tried to file a restraining order against him, but it was denied. For hours, Prince hid from police. Eventually, ATF agents found him walking in a neighborhood in Delaware and arrested him after a short chase. Uh, we were going to make sure every effort for this individual to get caught to make sure our community feels safe and take him off the streets. And Prince is in custody in Delaware right now. He will have a court appearance there within the next few days. Then he will be transferred back to Maryland to face those charges there. Leslie. All right, Marcella, thank you. And you just heard in Marcella's report, that suspect was arrested 42 times. He has 15 felony convictions. So why wasn't he in jail? Well, the Wilmington Police Chief Robert Tracy says most of those felonies were robberies and burglaries, not violent crimes. But that issue is something they plan to look into. We're